Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a tutorial on how I style my shorter hair. Ever since I chopped my hair off, I have had so many questions on how I style my hair, especially on Instagram. Like every new picture that I post, I get a question about my hair. So I thought that I would put this up for you guys because it is so easy to do and it's just relaxed and easy looking and kind of messy. Those are my favorite kind of hairstyles where it doesn't look too sleek because I do not look good with sleek straight hair. You guys will see that in a minute before I start curling it. But if you would like to see how I got this hairstyle, then go ahead and stick around. So this is the hair that I'm working with. Last night I blow dried it and then this morning I just ran a straightener through it really quickly before I dropped Noah off at school. And this hair, I just don't feel like it flatters me. It just looks so lifeless to me. So let's go ahead and jump into the tutorial. For my curls, I am going to be using my Bellamy 6-in-1 Clipless Wand Curler. And in my last tutorial when I had extensions and really long hair, I always use the 32 millimeter and when I have shorter hair I use the 25 millimeter okay so when it comes to styling this is super easy to do so I'm gonna take my wand and especially on the bottom layers I feel like I take bigger sections and just take a section about this big and I'm going to alternate going in towards my face and away from my face so the first section I'll just go ahead and curl away from my face and I leave a lot out on the ends with my shorter hair. I just feel like it looks better that way. So I leave probably about an inch and a half to two inches out at the bottom to keep those ends straight. And I just hold this for a few seconds and then we'll let it go. So you can see that essentially leaving those ends out just gives you a nice bend in the hair and then those ends are left really straight. So just alternate those curls towards your face and away from your face for this whole section. And whenever I get to these sections that are closest to my face, I always make sure to curl those away. And I do this for this whole section and then also the next section, which I'm going to separate right at the tail of my eyebrow. And I do that the exact same way. So I'm just gonna speed through this so you guys can get a little bit of an idea because it's pretty simple. And then we'll come back to do the rest of the hair. So now that the bottom section of our hair is all done, it's time to work on the top. And I know some people, whenever they do a similar hairstyle, they like to do alternating curls all around their hair. But for me, I like to do the top sections all just turned away from my face. I feel like it's just more flattering on me that way, so that's how I do it. But I do take smaller sections, so about one inch sections for each of the curls. And I do make sure to leave this end out so that we do have that straight end. So that's all that I do all the way around. And I don't bring this up too far. I like to keep probably about an inch away from my scalp so that it stays right there in the middle of my hair. So the sections closest to my face, like I said, I always curl away, but I also keep the curl a little bit lower. I don't wanna have like really tight curls close to my face. So I take this even lower. So I go probably about halfway down before I start the curl and then I also leave that end out. For these very top sections, sometimes I like to curl the hair a little bit closer to the scalp and then leave some a little bit further. I like to just have a little bit of variation so I can get some more volume and texture at the top. hair looks like after I've curled it. It still looks pretty lifeless right now. I feel like the next few steps are what really make this hairstyle come to life. And the first step is to go in with a texturizer. And the one I'm going to be using is by Purology. It's our Sea Kiss Texturizer. And this one is kind of on the pricey side. So if you want a drugstore alternative, I really like this one by L'Oreal. It's their Talcelet Wave Spray. And I feel like these are both really comparable, but I'm just going to use this one for the tutorial. And what I do first is just take my fingers and kind of run it through the curls and separate everything. 
and then I take the texturizing spray and I spray it upward into my hair. And I feel like it just helps to really separate those curls and keep your hair looking really PC. So now that we've got some texture, it's time to add some volume. This is my favorite part of doing any kind of hairstyle. So I'm just gonna go in with a fine tooth comb and start texturizing my hair and really teasing it and getting some volume. And I like to use a finishing spray whenever I tease my hair just because I feel like it makes it last longer. And the one I'm gonna be using today is the Redken Quick Tease. And if you want a more affordable version, you guys have heard me talk about the L'Oreal Boost It High Lift Creation Spray. I feel like it does the exact same thing. So this is a really great alternative. So I'm just gonna go in with this comb and pick up some random sections and start teasing away. And I know it's gonna look a little bit crazy with it all teased, but I like to let that finishing spray just sit for a little bit before I comb it through and smooth everything out. So you're gonna look a little bit crazy, but it'll be worth it in the end. crazy it's time to go in with that comb and just smooth over those areas so they don't look so nuts and it looks a little bit more polished I also like to take that comb and then comb upwards through the bottom parts of my hair and it just helps to give a little bit more texture and volume because I don't want to have really voluminous hair at the top and then scraggly ends And then I go in with a little bit more of that sea spray just to help finish off the look. The last step is to go ahead and finish everything off with some hairspray. And the one that I'm going to be using is the Chi Enviro 54 hairspray. This is a firm hold. And usually I like something that's a little bit more on the light side. But with this hairstyle, I feel like with my shorter hair, I need something with a little bit more hold because I do have more of an actual style than just having big loose curls. So I'm just going to do a light spray of this just to hold everything in place. And that's it for the tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it and maybe learned something new. Like I said, this is just my favorite way to wear this hairstyle. It's easy and fun and it just looks a little bit messy. And those are my favorite kind of hairstyles. So like I said, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And if you are interested in the six in one wand from Bellamy, I do have a huge discount code in the description box below for you guys. So until next time, I will see you later. Bye.